Today I am going to show you why if a woman doesn't serve or please you, she literally thinks you do not love her. She will think you do not care about her. She will think you do not like her and she will 100% think that you are not man enough to lead her. This is going to be one of my most important videos that I have ever made because this is a critical mistake that majority of all men are making right now inside of their dating interactions, their dating life and their relationships. Now, after the video is over, you can check out my webinar link below so that way you can learn masculine behavioral techniques. And these are secret techniques that majority of men do not know. Now, the entire reason why I'm telling you that if a woman doesn't serve or please you, she literally thinks that you do not love her is because you have to understand when you're dealing or operating with a woman in a dating interaction, this is not just a relationship where it's like, oh, we're just friends and we treat each other well. You can treat each other well, but what you have to realize is that the main backbone to all of this is understanding the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. And this right here is where majority of men go south. So I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do this. We're going to start off with this column right here because the fastest way to make a woman fall in love so that way she likes you so that way she loves you so that way she wants to be with you and not a different man. It's not by sleeping together. It is not via attention. It is not through her wanting to see you. Okay. How do you make a woman fall in love? It's by making her feel like she's a valuable asset in your life by assisting you. This is a key word. This is why I have it underlined so many times is assisting. She has to be in the element or in the dynamic of knowing that she's assisting you. Okay, this is very important. If she's not actively working to help you or please you or assist you, you are losing her. You are losing her to a different man or you are losing um, her mentally to different fantasies or different imaginations of what other men would be like that she could possibly obtain. This is so important. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. So what tends to happen when men get into relationships is you think that you are being nice by doing everything for her. So you're like, Oh, I take her out on the date and I pay and then I just come back and then we just lay down and we just cuddle and uh, we watch TV and then I tell her to go home. And since we were really nice to each other and back and forth and we seem cordial, everything's good and she's going to like me. No, that is not how it works. You think you're being nice by doing everything for her. Here's what she thinks when you do everything for her and you're not necessarily leading or directing or making sure that she's actively assisting in your life in any way, shape or form. The first thing is she goes, he doesn't like me. So she thinks you don't like her. She also thinks you do not care about her. And she starts to think that you are not man enough to lead her. So what do we have to do? What we have to do is we have to realize something very important. We have to realize that her lens of life via the feminine is polar opposite to how you see the world. Say that one more time. Her lens of life through the feminine is polar opposite to how you see the world. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say you have a dude friend, okay, a guy friend or a dude friend that you've been friends with for five years or 10 years. If you had a dude friend of yours, okay, and he all of a sudden tells you to do a bunch of shit for him, and then he basically expects you to assist him. And then all of a sudden he acts like it's your whole job, okay, to do stuff for him. You would think that he's a total asshole and you would hate him. Okay, because you're looking at the, the, the world through your lens of life. You have to understand that the lens of life that she is looking at the world is polar opposite to how you see it. Okay, so if your dude friend did this, you would think he's an ass. But the problem is that you are looking through you're you are looking at life through the blue kaleidoscope lens, how you how your man eyes see the world. Okay, now when we take a setback and we put on the pink kaleidoscope glasses, okay, and we switch to what what is the feminine seeing or what is the feminine dynamic through the worldview that she would potentially desire in a man. When you operate in this dynamic, 
where there is polarity and she is assisting you, she is like serving you and doing things to make you happy, or you're actively creating things for her to now engage in. So that way she's not bored. She sits there and goes, Oh my God, I found my husband forever and ever and ever. I do not want to leave him. This man knows how to make me feel like a woman. And this is all she wants. And it's very simple. Okay. When you do this, she goes, Oh my God, I found my man. I literally found my husband. I cannot leave him. So you got to understand this about women, her entire nature. Okay. Her whole nature is satisfied through assisting and pleasing and serving the man that she loves. How do you become the man that she loves through understanding that it makes her feel valuable when she is assisting you? Okay. So I, I, I will show you how to do this step by step when you're with a girl. Okay. That I, and I don't care if this is the first date, I don't care if this is you've been married for 10 years. I don't care when you're with a woman, you instantly start finding things for her to do and they need to start small because if you start saying big things like, uh, I have paperwork from the office, go file this, or you need to help me file this, or I'd like you to help me file this. That's going to be really weird and a, a way too big. It needs to be something very simple. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this. When you are with a woman, you instantly start finding things for her to do. You might be wondering why. Why do we have to do this? Why do we have to find things actively for her to do? Well, we have to do this because if you don't, okay, if you do not actively start finding things for her to do, if you don't, when it comes to the bedroom, okay, she will never feel the emotions needed to actually want to be intimate with you. Why? Because the, the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine is not solidified. The dynamic between the masculine and the feminine is not there. She needs that, that, that tension that leads to those intimacy feelings. She needs that emotional, um, dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. So instantly, okay, I'm going to even give you some things that I, that I do. If I'm on a first date, okay. A lot of times I will do pizza or ice cream. Okay. The other week, I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago. I was on a date. I took uh, the girl out for pizza and I, I got uh, extra sauce. So I get a big tub of sauce. Instantly, I, what I'm doing is I'm sitting there. I'm like, Oh, you need to help me, help me box up this sauce. And then she smiles and she goes, oh, okay, I can do that. And she starts scooping it in and then she helps me put it in the to go cup. There's other things you can do too. Okay. Instantly what I did when I got on that pizza, um, when, when I went to go get pizza with that girl, we sit down as we're sitting down on the list of pizzas. Mine was up here and hers was down here. It was, it was beneath mine on the, on the menu. So instantly I say like, Oh, my pizza is better than yours. You know, my pizza is better than yours. Why? Because look, it, it's above yours. <laughs> they put it higher on the column on the menu. That means it's better. That means <laughs> it's, it's small things. Okay. So instantly, okay. What I did was I, I made reference that my pizza was the, the big dog. Okay. The real one. Okay. Her pizza was below the one that she selected. Okay. And then also, okay, instantly what I'm doing is I'm just having her and, and she lit up when this happened. She was like happy. She was like happy to help me box up the to go food. Okay. Instantly when you get home or when I get home, it's like, Oh, I need water. Hell, we, we need, I need water. I'm so thirsty. Okay. Another thing that you can do. Okay. As slowly as you like, as you meet the woman, as you're seeing her, anything that has to do with like basic household activities. Oh, I'm so swamped from work. Uh, come help me put my clothes away. I'm going to tell you this, the best dates, is when she's actively helping you around the house. So clothes or helping with laundry or doing stuff. This is honestly the perfect date. If you call up the woman or you text the woman or you just say, Hey, I need help with this. Come, come now. So tired exclamation mark. Help, help, help. Come need. <laughs> it's like you, you need that. Like you, you need her as that assisting you throughout this stuff. This is like the perfect like dates and stuff. This is the perfect way that where she starts to actually feel as if she's feminine and she has some sort of dynamic that's assisting your life. She wants to assist you. Like this is the biggest message that I have through all of this. The way I explain the way I do it, it might be different than the way you do it. I'm trying to give you general base principles. And obviously you have to be social, socially calibrated with this. So it doesn't come across as weird. Okay. But anything, okay. She wants to feel feminine. She wants to feel like a woman. Okay. If you send a text or you say to her, Oh, you need to feel you, you need to fuel and fill my belly. You know, it'd be the hottest thing ever is if you made me banana bread, 
Can you make chocolate chip banana bread? Do you understand that when you do this stuff, she feels like, like she feels feminine. She feels feminine the same way where when you feel very masculine, if you lead a woman, you're able to provide by, let's say, taking her out on that date. When you pay for it, it feels like you're taking care of her. You feel like um, she, there's almost unity where like you're somewhat responsible for her protection. It makes you feel like a man. The problem is most women don't actually get to feel that feminine energy that they want to have being brought out of them, but they can't do it unless you're the man leading. So you have to start to do these things. Instantly you start finding things yeah, well, we need we need to organize my shoes, okay? And then the gray shoes we're gonna put here, and then organize. Uh, this is where the the uh, uh, this is where all my running shoes go, and you're gonna put them up in this column. And you start just saying that stuff, and you start directing, and you start leading. This is what makes her feel feminine. And I know this sounds wild. I know this sounds like something that you probably haven't heard, but this is what works. So when I'm saying all this stuff, you have to notice this. Notice, it's me, me, me. I need the food, I need a drink, I need boxing up this food, I need to put this away, okay? If, if you operate from this, it's I need food, it's I need assistance, it's I need you to help me do this or to do this for me. So when you operate like this, it's me, me, me. You have to understand this is one word that is not talked about often and this is frame. You're bringing her into your frame, you're bringing her into masculine frame, or you're holding masculine frame where she is now inside of your world. You're creating this bubble and atmosphere that she wants to be a part of. The reason why this is so important is because women want to feel special. Well, how do you make a woman feel special? By saying you, I want you to do this. So notice, it's all about me, 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 and I only want me, me, me to operate in this frame with you, you, you. So when it's I need assistance, I need you to do this for me. Notice I'm underlining the word you. I need you to help me do this, you. Not her, not her, not her, not her, not her, you. Okay, that makes her entire feminine heart light up. So notice, when you say I need assistance, I need this, I need that needy, you're, you're that needy, you're like you have to be slightly needy with this because it's me, 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 it's all about what I need, it's all about what I want. Her job is to come into that world and help me accomplish that no matter how big or how small the mission or the task is. I don't care if it's I need, um, I need food for XYZ lunch because I'm super swamped with work or it's something that we need to do this because I have a big day at the office tomorrow and all this pro project with this paperwork needs to be filed. Like she wants to be part of something. This is how you make her feel feminine. So the reason why I underline the word you, okay, is because when you operate like this, what you're basically telling her since she deep down wants to feel special, like she is basically, like that's what a relationship is to a woman is she feels some sort of like gratitude or satisfaction because like the man that she wants like claimed her in a relationship, like yes, you're mine and I'm yours mutually. She wants that dynamic. So like the reason why I underline all of these two is because when you start saying and directing things like this, what you're psychologically or subconsciously telling her is it's not her that I want, uh, help with these things or it's not it's it's not her it's not her it's not her it's not her it's not this woman or that woman it's you I want you to help me with this I want you to do this with me I want you to do this for me you have to grow some balls and be able to say this stuff so it's you I need you she falls in love and then she feels special she feels like there's something here between you and her why would there be something here between you and her because obviously if you're comfortable enough to bring her into, let's say, your world, your home, your apartment, wherever you live, you're comfortable enough to have her aid in some sort of day-to-day -day tasks where she can feel feminine and help you, that turns a woman on. So obviously she feels special, she feels like there's a place here for her, now she wants to make sure she nurtures that relationship. The problem is that most men don't actually have anything for a woman to nurture because they're not doing a good job at leading and they're not doing a good job at making sure that she is assisting. This is so critically important. She wants it to be all about what you want. No, I did not say halfways about what you want. No, I did not say three quarters of the way there about what you want. She wants it all to be about what you want. You will notice the more you operate in this frame where it's all about what you want. It is all about me. It's all about what I want to help me to serve, like to serve me. I understand that this might sound um, a bit different than anything that you've heard, but you will notice a few things. First off, you're going to notice maximum happiness with the woman. 
Your second thing you're going to notice is you're going to notice that she is typically very happy and in a good positive feminine energy when she's around you. She wants it to be all about what you want. Okay. When a woman has a man in front of her who meets this sort of criteria, he's strong, he's powerful. She sees that he's able, okay. He's competent. He's able to protect and to provide. He's able to be with her and make her feel feminine. Her natural nature and desire is to conform to his desires. That is deep. Say that one more time. Her natural nature and her natural desire is to conform to his desires. This is where you are going to notice the woman slowly is going to take on your mannerisms. You're going to notice the woman slowly. She wants to uh, watch the types of movies you want to watch. You're going to notice the woman starts to want to listen to the types of music you like to listen to. All of a sudden she wasn't very interested in uh, football on Sundays. And now all of a sudden she's rooting for your favorite team. And it's like, she's super excited. Why? Because you brought her into your world. She is now assisting you. And this is how she wants it to be. She is assisted like his desires, her natural nature and desire is to conform to his desires and his worldview. She wants it this way. Okay. So you cannot be scared. You can't be scared to think you're going to be an asshole operating like this. If anything, she's going to think you're like the best man. She's going to even like when, when you do this, she maybe will say like little comments here. They're like, Oh, you're such an asshole or Oh, uh, so demanding, but you're going to notice that like number one, like she, she, okay. So here's what you gotta understand. Women have tons of options. She has every, she has every right for herself to go be who she wants, but you're going to notice they keep coming back. You're going to notice they want a second date. You're going to notice they want a third date. She's in her feminine nature of assisting. And this is how she feels most feminine. This is how she feels most valuable. This is how she feels most, um, just feminine to be with that sort of man. So this is why if a woman doesn't serve slash or serve or please you, she thinks you do not love her. She thinks you do not care about her. She thinks that you don't understand the masculine to feminine dynamic, and she really doesn't want to have anything to do with you. So you have to get into this attitude. As soon as you start, um, getting on the date, as soon as you meet up with that woman right away, you're instantly okay. And I mean, instantly, you are finding things for her to do. You're fine. And, and you got to understand too, that I'm going to, I'm going to end with this. A lot of this depends on how you say it. If you're weird about it, or you say it like very, um, you have to be relaxed. You have to have the right tone. You have to, you have to be very chilled out and relaxed. Okay. If I'm, if I'm on, okay, I'll give you a perfect example. If I'm on the bed and I'm laying down or I'm on the couch and I'm cuddled up and I notice that the remote is all the way across the room on the table, I'm not just going to be like super harsh with my tone where I say, Oh, go get that right now. No, that's, that's mean. That's, that's too, it's too much. You say, Oh, look, the remote's all the way over there. Go grab that. Go grab that for us. Go grab it. And then I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to switch the channel. Go get that. She goes, oh, okay. And then she, she gets up from the couch, she walks over and then she gets it. And then she, you're going to notice even she, she's happy that she gets to even give it to you half the time. This is very important. If a woman doesn't serve or please you, she literally thinks that you do not love her. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Be sure to check out the webinar link below in the description to learn and understand masculine behavioral techniques, which is the best process method and system on planet earth to actually start attracting women the right way. And we'll see you in the next one.